good morning people welcome back to the channel thanks for taking the time to watch these videos during these uh, busy and hectic times I do appreciate it as always today I'm at the lovely Fanbridge or North Fanbridge because I'm here at the Essex Powerboat School to come and do a radio course but I just thought I'd quickly show you what it looks like out here before I phone and let them know I'm here get on with the course. How beautiful is that? Anyway, I'll check with you later, tell you how it's going and see if we can do a bit of filming as we go. Speak to you soon. So we're going over to where the little rib is part next to the boat there so I thought I'd film as we go and look at these lovely boats Morning Pete. <coughs> Apologies for the noise, it's lunchtime. I just thought I'd show you our classroom for the day is this excellent Sea Lion F43. And it is lovely. the route they use for doing the uh, powerboat level 2 course that's just doing some dredging and we have this fantastic view These five hundreds of the pro show, but it used to be at XL. But it's not a bad way to spend a day. More to follow. Now, if I look at my radio, you can see several buttons here, and the buttons are pretty similar on all of the devices. So you have your distress flap where you can send out your maydays you have your channel 16 so basically as soon as you move to any other channel and you press 16 no matter what channel you want it'll take you back to the um, emergency channel you have your calls so you can do your ship to ship your individual calls if you know the MMSI number of other boats um, and obviously your high low um, which you can change the signal strength and you have pretty much the same buttons here so you have your scanning and down in terms of channels so if I switch the radio on does a system check and it will always then revert back to the distress channel number 16 and what you can see hopefully right up there up here if I go really close you can see it says high 
So you have these high low buttons. So when you go to any other channel, it switches them automatically to low. Because obviously for your emergency channel, you want to go to high, so make sure you transmit at the most strength so you've got the most chance of getting through. So if I go to this channel six, which is ship to ship, you can see if I go really low, it automatically defaults to low. I'm not sure if you can quite see that there. Not all of them, uh, not all ship radios do that, but this one seems to. It's low rents LBR250. But again, I've done my ship to ship call. If I press 16, it takes me back to the distress channel. So again, I'm listening out for anything else while I'm here. If I want to find out my MMSI number, menu, and you're going to have to check this on your own individual um, uh, radios, but then I'm going to be going down to DSE setup. I'm going to find my MSS, MMSI number here. So if I click on that, it will show me that, and then I can exit that. Um, and you can also uh, set up groups. So if, you, if you're doing a, a shared group, in which case the number of the MSI will change, you'll have uh, two zeros at the start of your MMSI number. And if it's just one zero, it's usually a shore-based uh, radio operator or station, as they call it. If you need to do your, so let's say. Draft, this is Dover Coast Guard. You are good readable, channel one six over. There we go, so that's already live, uh, so you can hear that. But again, um, if you want to, as I said before, if you want to do your Mayday, it's lift the flap and press the red button, you'll get beeps, and then you'll give your scripted um, response as to why you're calling a Mayday, and I'll put a clip of what that, or a page of what that needs to look like in that official call. But if you are doing a Mayday Relay, you wouldn't be pressing the Distress button, you'll be doing a Channel 16 Mayday Relay call. Uh, if you want to do uh, some other kind of uh, call to someone, you can pick it up from Channel 16. If you see the other user or the other boat and you don't know their MMSI, you can call them via the radio and then suggest a channel to move to that's not on the main channel here. And then if I go, in here, um, apologies, go back. if you need to make a, any other kind of call, you would go into this call button and you can do an individual call if you know the MMSI number of another boat and your, and your MMSI is stored in their radio, you can do a direct call. Or you can do your last call, you could do some kind of group call, but all ships is going to be for when you do your um, pan pans uh, kind of calls. So if you click on your all ships, you have your urgency and safety. So safety is going to be um, for something that's that's going to affect safe navigation, and urgency is going to be for other type non-life threatening uh, incidents or, or issues. So you'll learn all of this on your on your radio calls. Well worth the investment. Really glad, really, really glad actually I did it. So I now know I'm going to be getting a license to use this, and then I also know what to do in terms of using it as well. So we started at quarter past nine. It's now quarter past five. We've done the exam and we've done the assessment with a in, with a separate instructor and uh, passed. So paper is done and it should be something coming back soon. But let's have another look at these boats before we go home.
So that's it. All done. So now, just have, have to wait for the uh, license to come through. Thanks very much for watching this video, as always, I do appreciate it. If you like the content, please do let me know. Any questions, let me know. I'm not the expert, but I'll try and help. Otherwise, see you on the next video. Take care, bye-bye.